So, Lucy is like limitless, except it has a female lead. You become less human as the brain capacity increases and you have superpowers. But other than that though, it's basically the same, right? Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Lucy. So Lucy is written and directed by Luke Besson. It stars Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman. So this movie is about when Lucy's douchebag boyfriend gets her into a very crucial situation. Lucy finds these drugs inside of her and they give her the ability to become more smarter and have these superpowers. As the brain capacity increases, Lucy becomes less human, she becomes more unstoppable. I know at least a good amount of people were excited for Lucy, but to be honest, I really was not interested in Lucy. It looked just very mediocre from the trailers and I just wasn't looking forward to it so with all that being said I was actually surprised with Lucy that's right I actually liked this film one thing I have to start off with is definitely Scarlett Johansson she nails it she is fantastic and it's nice to see a movie where it's a female lead because we really don't get enough of that, so hopefully in the future we'll get those kinds of movies more often where we have the female lead, her being badass, and you know, just stuff like that. She plays the character where she becomes a dimwit from the start. Her playing this less human woman as the movie's progressing was really impressive. She had a lot of range to her character. Even when her character is unstoppable and has zero emotions into her, I actually did feel like I could connect with Lucy and just really get behind the character. Morgan Freeman also does a really good job as a scientist who has been doing research about this whole brain capacity at 10%, how the human brain works, what could happen if the brain capacity gets higher. And it's like, come on, it's Morgan Freeman. Yes, you could see Morgan Freeman in the film, but it doesn't matter because he's just so awesome. Ha. I'm Morgan Freeman. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> I actually did think the storyline was very well written. It was very creative. And I gotta say, quite different what the film did with this premise. The film looks good. Nice cinematography. Luc Besson does a... Really good job of directing the film. The action sequences are filmed very well. It's no shaky cam BS or anything like that. I also really enjoyed how the film uses these footages to set up like symbolisms, like to represent how the world works between the human life and the animal life. And that was definitely one of the most surprising things. Yes, it uses the whole 10% brain capacity thing, but it really tries to be different. Once the film hits the final 15 minutes, my jaws dropped, like, it's not often for me to have my jaws drop during the film, but Lucy, especially when it hits that final 15 minute mark, it just surprised me so much. My jaws were just like, holy shit. It was just really interesting how the whole premise was really used. I gotta give credit to Luc Besson because he wrote this film. And he did a very good job, for the most part, of presenting this whole premise. I could tell Lucy is not going to be a film for everyone, but I really did appreciate what this film was trying to do. Now, I do have flaws with Lucy. Like, first of all, how the film starts out is very sloppy. I was taken out of the film right away, so it didn't quite get to a good start. And the first ten minutes, because... Really, the plot literally starts right away. The way it tries to mesh with the serious and the silly tone at the same time, it did not mesh well with the film. And the first 10 minutes of Lucy just felt so awkward because of that. And it kind of made me cringe a little. Like, I'm like, ooh. Here and there, the film does get very dumb. Also, there's this cop that tags along with Lucy, and while, yeah, the character was actually quite likable, 
I did not think he was necessary. The character himself just did not serve any purpose for the story, nor was he even necessary for the story other than one thing he had to do for Lucy. Overall, I was actually really surprised by Lucy. I did not expect to enjoy the film, but I gotta say I did. And I'm going to give Lucy a surprising three out of four stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget, the owl always have Tiger Power!